Hey, what's up guys? I'm going to show you how you can create a mobile app wireframe using a free tool on Google called draw.io or also diagrams.net. And we're going to be pulling some reference images from a really cool website called dribble.com, which is kind of like Behance, kind of like Instagram, kind of like uh, Pinterest, a little of each. It's really focused on the design community. It also has a job board portion of it. So the way I learn best is just by copying others. And that way I can see what techniques and shapes and styles and things like that they're using. Uh, and then I can just adopt it um, into my own. So, uh, so what I would do, if you have the space or the ability, I would put two windows side by side. And if you're not able to do that, then um, just have multiple tabs and switch back and forth between them. Or you can do another technique I'm going to show you in a second. So in your one tab or window, you want to just go to draw.io. And this is going to have you sign into your Google account uh, because it's a part of Google Drive. And I'm just going to click Create New Diagram. And I'm going to choose Blank Diagram because they don't have the template that I want. It asks if I want to create it in the root folder, which is at the very top level of Drive. I'm going to click Yes. And I've got this big empty grid here. One thing I'm going to do to make life a little easier for this tutorial is I'm going to click View. And I'm going to turn off Grid. And I'm going to turn off Guides. And that's going to keep things from snapping. And it'll be a little easier for me to arrange things the way I want. OK, in this other window, we're going to go to dribble with three Bs. And then down here in the second section, I'm going to click on mobile. And it's only going to show me examples of mobile app designs. OK, so there's a lot of really great examples. I'm just going to click this one right here. Um, all right, so here is our template, basically. And what I can do to make life a little easier is right click on this and copy image address. And then over here, I'm going to expand. And I'm going to click this plus icon and choose image and then paste that URL and hit apply. And there it is. I've got this right in my layout. So next thing to get the phone template is to scroll down well, actually, you don't have to scroll. Down at the bottom, it says More Shapes. So click that. And then you'll want to check the box next to iOS and Mockups. And hit Apply. So I'm going to choose, click the arrow next to iOS UI. And it's got this phone here. So I'm going to basically just click that, and then it shows up on my layout. It's pretty cool. All right, so I'm not going to worry about being super precise for this because I want to keep the video kind of short. Uh, normally, I would be very like anal about being pixel perfect and all that. Um, but for now, just going with the basics. So what they have here is they have kind of like the newer phone style where the, the layout reaches clear to the edge of the phone. Um, we're just going to go old school. Uh, but I, I could show you how you can do this as well. So what we can do is um, I'm going to go click the plus. I'm going to choose text. And I'm going to drag this text that just showed up onto my layout. And I'm just going to mimic this layout. So if you double click on your text, it gives you all these text options. So I'm going to make mine left aligned. And I'm just going to, it says, buka peuntas. So I'm just, buka peuntas. And I can make it bold if I really care about you know, getting into style. And then at this point, I just start duplicating. So you can press Command or Control D on an element, and it duplicates it. So notice it says, hello, really small. I'm just going to type hello. 
I'm going to unbolt it and then knock it down to like eight points. All right, and then you can actually just click on it and you can move it around with your arrow keys to get some more pre precise control. But you do notice they have this little icon here. So to do that, you can just add a plain old circle to your layout, drag it, shrink it, boom. Now we've got a rounded rectangle right here. So that's also one of the tools. So rounded rectangle, click that drag it into place, get the size roughly by dragging the blue circles, and you'll notice there's a little orange diamond. So I'm going to drag on that, and that's going to make it more rounded. And then to add the text here, the 2840 points, I'm just going to click the text, Command or Control D, and then And then to do the points, which is small, I'm going to duplicate the hello. And it's just going to say points. Okay, now we see more rounded rectangles. So duplicate those. And again, I'm going through this really quick just to show you the general process. And I'm just doing a lot of duplicating. Because in the wireframe process, you don't need to be super precise. It's just enough to get the point across. And it, it also depends on what stage you're at and what kind of company you work for and all that. But for the point of this, we're keeping it simple. OK, so right here you notice we've got the rounded rectangle again. So I'm going to duplicate that, stretch it to match, go all the way down. Ah, and look what it did to my corners. It stretched all the way out. So guess what I'm going to do? I'm just going to adjust that little orange diamond there. All right, and now we've got the second layer of that. So I'm going to click it, duplicate it, drag it down. Again, adjust it. And we've got some image elements here. So usually in wireframing, the thing that represents an image is a box with an X on it. So let's see if they have that. We've got a circle with an X. Hmm. mock-up graphics, maybe it's there. There we go. So it's under mock-up graphics. I'm just going to drag that on here. And that little X represents that little bear graphic. In fact, I can represent the whole graphic here. Um, and then for these icons, I'm going to move this down here. Again, we can just use the little X's to represent icons. That's one way to do it. Or a lot of times they provide uh, little icons. Again, it just depends on how accurate you're wanting to be. Um, so yeah, maybe I could just add one of these. But for now, I'm just going to add these because let's just say we're at a really early stage in the process. All right, so again, I'm not going to go any further. You guys get the point. At this point, it's just duplicating. Just duplicating, duplicating, moving, 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 all that. So let's say I want to export this. The way you can do that is go to File, Export as PNG, and then hit Export. And then it says, where do you want to export it to? We're going to do it to our device, which downloads it. Now I'm going to open that image, and here it is on my image program. It exported that layout. All right, so that is how you do wireframes in Droll.io. I hope you enjoyed it. 
Let me know your thoughts. Thanks.